Hello. Uh, Chris here. Real Adam 140. And so I went Real Ale Guy joint review. This is basically a, a, a competition to see who can get the review out quicker. Will it be my <laughs> new HTC One with its 1080p, 30 frames per second, straight to YouTube sharing capability? Or will Very it be jealous. Simon's... So it's old fashioned way. You see. Yeah. <laughs> There's upside down and inside out. <laughs> We'd like to show all these people what it's all about. Um, so today we've got an American bear. I've picked this up from, uh, well, hopefully my new bear supplier. Uh, it's, it's a strange name for a bear shop, but it's Discount Supermarket and it's based in Cardiff. And I popped down the other day, met uh, the proprietor, Ali, and Charm Man, and he recommended this. This is Modus Operandi. So this is our mode of operation. It's from a Scar Brewing Company, uh, which is in America. And you'll notice it's in a tin. Mm, love it. In a tin. Love it. All the way from the States. Uh, keeps it nice and fresh, in yeah. my experience. Um, I did ask on Reddit the other day. Um, I asked some American people, because I know there's lots of them on there. Um, what do you think of this? And the answer came back, it's piney and it's hoppy. Beautiful. That's what I'd expect from an American IPA, frankly. So um, let's find out, shall we? What's the ABV? Quickly, if I can just... I may have just put us on the spot here, because it didn't say it on the tin. Put it in the comments box. What's the ABV to this beer? Mm. There's got to be something, isn't it? If it's exported from America, they don't have to put it on the can. Oh, really? Oh, well, there's yes. something you learn new every day. Today I learned, read it, uh, that you yeah. don't have to put the ABV on the can. And it shows that we don't read up and, and go on rate beer and everything else. Nope. And, and try. Yeah, it just shows that... But I may get five cents for it if I return the can. <laughs> so... Well worth the thing, Jimmy. Oh, a bit of splash back there yeah. on the thing. It looks like I'd expect it to look. Look at that. Orangey. That oh, can you smell that from here? Absolutely mind-blowing wow. good. It smells good. I'm half a metre away. Two finger Ooh. head. Slightly off-white. Honk, honk. Ooh. Lovely carbonation. I love the branding on this as well. This, this whole, the whole two-tone scar thing, I think that's great. Yes, it is, yeah. But what's, the, what's the band in the UK that reminds me of the specials? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, on the nose? Let's get a nose. <laughs> I'm thinking six point all the way. Six point, well, shouldn't name another brewery really, but... No. Never mind. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Oh, that smells absolutely mind-blowing. Great It doesn't smell as... Piney as some American brewers have had, I'm thinking it's not as piney as not naming any other brewers, but Sierra Nevada or yeah. anything like that, you know. <laughs> it smells really nice and sweet. Mm. Loads of sweetness going on. The grape, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. Grapefruit as well. Oh, Shall we get into it? Yeah. Oh, cheers, everyone. Cheers, cheers. Oh, mm. Stone mm. the Crows. <laughs> this is quality. Join me on the Stone the Crows. Yeah, Stone, stone all of the Crows. <laughs> stone everywhere. Um, wow. Oh, I like this. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's lovely. It's really nice. It's it's just very well balanced actually. It's much more balanced than I expect. Yeah, it's piney. It's grapefruity. Mm. It looks so. Beautiful in the glass. That's the... and there's a little hint of the multi background in there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It's a little sticky on the tongue, but you you kind of accept that from being a British IPA drinker. You accept that American yeah. way of brewing. And I yeah, this is no Bengal answer. Don't don't do it, don't get confused. Mm. American mm. IPA is very much a thing. Yeah. Um, British American IPAs are also a thing, but they're not the same as American IPAs. Mm. American American IPAs. Yeah. Oh, I I love this. I really do. It's it's lovely big backbone of sweet yeah. malt. Mm. It's balanced, but in a big way, it's 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 and on the burp, yeah, yeah, it actually carries back that pine, that pine. It's really the resin. You know, you really get that hit there. Mm. Mm. Full bodied, full bodied. Yeah. This is this isn't um. Yeah, it's not light. It's not um. I don't know. It's not a summer drink. Necessarily, no. Well, it could be. I, you know, yeah. Is it lawnmower bear? I, yeah. You I wouldn't phrase well. lawnmower bear. I, I, I don't think it is. I think it's a little bit more than that. It's not one you want to slip down too quickly. 
I'm guessing at the ABV, I can't find it on the bloody cam for love the money. I'm guessing around the six, six and a half percent mark. I may be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Whoever's channel, I don't care. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure on this one because we, we've done a review of a 12% beer. Um, and I, I may guess at eight, eight percent. I may guess at eight. Okay. I think it's a double IPA. Yeah, it's just so wonderfully hoppy. It, it reminds me it's, um, just a little bit of torpedo. Mm. Yeah, which is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, mean, I can't think what was the one we had from um, not Dogfish Head Six Point. The yeah. resin, resin, a little bit of that. Yeah, it's a quality beer. It's, I really love the marketing. I love that two tone lip up fatty man. Yeah, you know, I know. Yeah, you know, it's great that that's made it all the way across the pond. We're gonna have to go and check www.scarbrewing.com um, and see what see what they make of it. Uh, sorry, see what we can find out there after. That, yeah. That'll be our homework for later on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, says we shouldn't operate any machinery. You were planning on doing that this afternoon? Well, just the, the kids' garden digger. Okay. It says they use the finest malt, hops, yeast, water and love. <laughs> I'm dubious about the whole love thing and I'm, I hope it's not what I think it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Love in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Um, well, so... Well, what do I, I I think I think this is for me. This is right up my street. This is nine point five, nine point five out of ten. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful, for me double IPA. I think it's great. Thank you to Chris. Chris brought me around for a barbecue today. We're sitting here. And he said to me, "Would you like to review these couple of beers?" Um, I said, "Not reviewed anything from Scar. It looks really interesting." We've not gone any on any kind of social media websites or websites to find out what this beer is or what the percentage is we've gone into it blind and it's given us um, yeah i'll ask one question and the answer came back piney yeah and i'd expect that you know and that, that's mm. but that's the only hint we've got yeah you know you've got to work with what you've got in front of you sometimes and we've got 12 fluid ounces of really really nice stuff fantastic i'd go with a nine i think there are probably better double ips out there i when it comes to the crunch, I will always come down on the side of the English American IPA, mm. and I think if you put if you put a wild boar or an axe edge or um, yeah things along those lines in front of this, I think I know what I'd land on. Just one more quick question before we go. Apologies for the the, the long review, but you've tried Bear of Perfect Race of Five. Yes. How does this bear up? I think this is marvelous. This is equally as good mm. as, as Race of Five. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't see what the fuss was. It was a good beer. This is just as good. May, mm. Maybe, maybe this I was being in a can um, has has saved this. And um, mm. maybe if it had come over in a bottle, like I had my Race yeah. of Five, yeah. the Race of Five might have, yeah, come out on top if it had come in a can. Yeah. Who knows? Is that enough for today? Yeah, it sure I better is. give it a rating. It sure is. It's a nine. You know. Eight and a half to nine, somewhere around there. Thanks for joining me. Thanks again to Chris for letting me try this wonderful beer. Um, probably wouldn't have tried it without Chris's little digging around in the Cardiff bottle shops. Um, thanks for watching me, the real air guy. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like. And cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching me. Now go away. <laughs>